Oh, hello and good afternoon everybody. Welcome to my channel and thank you for tuning in. I'm just sitting here hanging out in my room. <laughs> Not really much going on today. Um, with my dog here. This poor dog has been through a lot by a lot of people that's caused him harm over the last couple of years as well. As I'm doing this right now, I, uh, I have absolutely no feeling in my head at all on the right side of my head. I woke up this morning and I actually also I felt all night long is being broadcasted through from remote near I'm wandering by Tyler Lake. I woke up and then after I woke up when I actually only got a couple hours sleep again then I started getting the crap going through my kidney area and it moves up around through my body and then it comes from up around my lungs and up through my body on my right side and it all goes to the spot right here on the back of my head where I've been injured where and then I start getting what feels like a laser actually hitting that spot it will start to burn real bad and then whatever the liquid is or whatever it goes through it will start to move through me it will come up through this split right here and then start to spread around over the last 24 hours even over the last 48 hours I have had serious serious skull deforming I have proven it from being broadcasted through from what is called remote neuro monitoring. It is tech that police use and military use. It is an implant and what it does, it basically fucks the victim's nervous system. It is a Pontius Pilate crime forum and they've been using this tech unknowingly since the 60s. So. A lot of people are not aware of it, but it is being used. And this is how they are obviously changing my identity, using it for illegal surveillance, using all these different people to use it on me, broadcasting through me to change my identity, and I've been proving it 100%. I've been injured, tortured, skull split, and I've proven it. I've been seriously brain injured. My face has been seriously injured my skull I'm having serious memory losses I have to write stuff down because of what has taken place with me and not being able to go to the hospital and get help for it reason being this is a revenge retaliation crime against me since 2019 for speaking of police crimes here the human trafficking and other crimes starting at the Morning Star mission at the time. So as a result, they took it upon themselves to shoot me with something the XOPP chief. Back in August of 2019, I was sitting at my previous address and he just, he went by in a white Jeep before he left and he waved at me. I waved back and when I did, a black truck pulled up. They pointed something and shot it at me and it went into my right ear. And that's when the problem started happening. That's when I decided to find out what the fuck's going on. So I go to the hospital. I finally, you know, what's this? It started moving up to the back of my head. And I was having all kinds of problems after that. I've explained this. But then after that, November of that year, I got CAT scans. I didn't feel that. I know I'm doing it, but I don't feel it. Except for that spot on the back of my head where it's burning. And my head has been flattened seriously deformed and rounded out, elongated, 
it's been this way, this way, and every other different way, and I've shown it and proved it. Oh, I'll call the liar, but anyway. This is revenge retaliation on me for speaking of police crimes, and the ones that are involved in threats and dangers to society are OPP Spencer Mills, OPP ex-chief, OPP staff sergeants, men, OPP Shannon Cork, OPP Robert Lucas, OPP Robert Kane, OPP a mental health worker, Stacy, who is now Kingston, blonde haired woman, OPP a mental health worker, Shelly Hafner, I've been kidnapped, I've been sex assaulted, I've been injured, I've been tortured, I've been medically blacklisted, I've been discriminated against. I've had medical treatment refusals for three years against me through lies on me. I've had lies stating I'm suicidal. I've had lies stating that I am a drug addict and all this other stuff. I do not do drugs. I am 100% against them. I certainly am not suicidal and I'm no sec fucking self-harmer. Those are lies against me that need to be proven by the liars themselves. I'm 50 years old and I've gone through this and as much as I've been proven everything, I've been called a liar. I've not been able to get arrests on cops and doctors and their boss, William Woldridge, Blair Hardy, Tyler Lake. These are all co-offenders to OPP. These are the meth fed, the drug fed and money paid co-offenders that they use here to help them commit their crimes along with J2 Step, Van Alstein, Ray Ray, Sam, Hope Mills, Michelle, Allie Cooper, Bucktooth Bob, and others that have used this on me over the past three years, deforming me, being illegal surveillance for these pieces of shit. The only crime I've committed is speaking of police crimes as a result. I have been seriously fucking deformed, seriously injured, lied about that needs to be proven. I even had a justice of the peace here <coughs> make accusations against me stating that I was high on marijuana and hallucinating sex assaults and that was done to obstruct. I was falsely charged by, by the hospital and cops for wanting doctors and cops charged for years and they took it upon themselves once I started talking about and telling what was going on. They came up with the harassment stuff and that was to deflect everything to charge me to get away with it to criminalize me and they got my blood my piss my prints my signature for forgeries framing frauds it's not above or below these people they've proven it they've had my mother stalked they had my mother murdered by william Woldridge back in 2020 and he is still untouchable he is still unarrestable no matter how much you prove anything. As a matter of fact, he's, it, it takes $22,000 here to get him arrested. So know that much. He is an inmate sex offender. He's an identity thief. He's a delusional piece of shit. He is a drug trafficker. He is alleged Hells Angels boss. And he is boss to OPP. They are the ones that the answer to him. Doctors here that need to be arrested and charged as well that co commit and cover up crimes with and for these doctors. Dr. Tatiana V, A.K. Margie V, Dr. Joy Hadley, Dr. Barton, Dr. Pritchard, Dr. Waldron, Dr. Amben Bola, Dr. McGregor, Dr. Sue, Dr. Fardell. Triage Nurse Terry, Triage Nurse Tanya, blonde haired woman, Triage Nurse David, you were all guilty of aiding and abetting and covering up crimes against me, treatment refusals, the discrimination, name calling, and a whole lot more for three years, including you, Terry, trying to lock me in the room there last time I came up to start your bullshit, hoping I would react on you. All fucking lies against me that you are believing while aiding and abetting in this crime against me willfully with intent along with Paladin Security now who is also involved from illegally kicking me out of the hospital to block me getting help for these crimes against me. 
and causing me even more serious harm and damage. And this was roughly two weeks ago. I've had a lot more serious deforming to my face and my skull. I can't do nothing about it. I was told to just leave this alone and forget that this is happening. Let my life be stolen because of a piece of shit that framed me for revenge, for, re for revenge retaliation through very seriously dangerous cops, doctors, and their inmate bosses who none are arrestable, but their victims are. So, anytime... Anybody's involved with this wants to go to Deserano and exhume my dad to prove DNA. I'm more than willing to do this. More than willing. Anyway, I better wrap this up and keep it short. I just wanted to say a few words, and I hope everybody's having a good day. I thank you for tuning in. I hope you like the content that is on my channel, and I hope you do watch subscribe and share this is very serious and it is very important napany ontario lennox and addington opp their doctors their inmate boss their human trafficking sex trade slavery trafficking opp is guilty of murder and missing the human trafficking framing killing elderly through their boss so they're very dangerous people I've been trying for three years and warning. Hey, thanks for watching. Love all. Hate none. Be safe, everybody.